Hello and welcome back to our Persia run in Imperator Rome. This war is going fantastically well. We are going to grow significantly as long as we can hold on to this land without many uh, problems with uh, rebellion, then we are shoe in for being quite strong. Um, unfortunately, we are being raided quite hard by these annoying little one stacks. As soon as I finish this siege, which I am in control of, then we are going to go up and murder those bastards. Uh, I'm going to take that national tax as well because that's quite a lot of money that I want for myself. Unfortunately, they did manage to build an extra fort as well, uh, which is currently on fire. Sponsored Games has has turned the the city into f a burning inferno. Me don't don't siege this. Don't 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 siege Sisamos, please. You shit. Three pops just died there. I am going to ruin you. I'm at war with Sinop as well. Where the piss is Sinop? Oh, yeah, it's you. Right, of course, that's, that's the main main war. Right, let's go and fucking screw these guys up. We cannot be allowing this level of disrespect. Get the fuck out of my country, you flaming piles of piss. Yeah, you, you may have beat Pontus. I'm stronger than Pontus. Time for you to get wrecked. Die, you shits. Half Ligonia. Pff. Fuck off, Ligonia. Yeah, dead. Catch you here, murder you as well. Fantastic. Alright, so this is all going to get siege without my influence. We're up to 14% religious unity, which is just making conversions go faster and faster as time goes on. Let us go and de-siege a bunch of this territory. Actually, having Sinop there wasn't actually a terrible thing. Uh, it did allow for a bit of a buffer state between me and Phrygia, which would have been nice to keep, but at the same time... I need to grow, otherwise I'm just going to be stuck in a rut, and then Phrygia can eat Herac uh, Sinop at will. City games in Heraclea Pontica. If we spend 13 ducats, we get 5 legitimacy, some unrest reduction, taxes go up, and I gain a little bit of popularity. Uh, or I could lose 5 stability and get a new character or nothing. I'm going to sponsor the games. A show of support will be appreciated. Perfect. Uh, also, inventions. I might take, like, all of them, maybe? Supply limit would definitely be good. It's 59 ducats for a bloody invention. It's a little bit obscene, not gonna lie. Oh, <gasps> no. No, no, no. No. I can't believe they've taken this back. We need to get there. Um, My son has gained dysentery. It's not good. You go and siege Cabia. I'm going to go for Dorylaean. I can't believe I got here first. <laughs> Thank fuck for that. That could have been really, really shit. Let's go and de-siege Benita. And yeah, at the moment it's just we're waiting on this siege and then we're done. Because I own every one of the provincial capitals. Doralean is, yeah, I mean, it's the entire state. I'm going to finish a couple of missions here, which I'm very excited about. Citizens for Pontus. We're informed a group of citizens are preparing to move from Zilikis to Gadalian, uh, one of the regions of our ally Pontus. It's said that uh, having a better understanding of our two cultures could bring us ever closer. Um, Greta Pontic citizen uh, moves to Gadilon. I mean, do I get, the, where is Gadilon? Do you have Gadilon? Where is Zilikis? Find Galadon. Did I spell that wrong? Gadilon. Ah, shiny bucket. There we go. Gadilon. Alright. Oh, you bastard. You're taking it. So I lose a citizen or I could gain some tyranny. Fine. Just, just have the citizen, you shit. We take Tuioion, 
we'll spread out the no never mind too late right you can't take this anyway but we're at 100 percent we can take absolutely everything we're going to be pretty fucking swole we're also going to have a shit ton of aggressive expansion but heraclea pontica is big is, is very big it's very big and nice and good. This uh, fort I'm going to allow to continue because it's in a pretty damn good place. Um, this does not need a second fort. So thank you for the money. Uh, you, pretty good place for a fort. I'm going to keep you. Um, and we're going to spend some money now. We've got 131 ducats. First off, though, I need a dude. Uh, this dude seems like a pretty good dude. Democritus. Democritus Helidid. Fantastic. Good job. And uh, religious conversion will be nice. We've got some religious conversion going on in all of these places already. Beautiful. Right, so what I want is, let's start with the capital. The capital needs one of these and one of these. Uh, you have already got a temple, so now I'm going to build you a theater. And that's all the money I have. But we are big, we're big, we're big, we're big. Right, so control Bithynia Inferior, I get occupation welcomed, look and rest goes down, taxes go up, and I get a couple of freemen, very nice. Now making gains, um, Bithynia gets Conqueror's Statue until the end of the game, giving the effect of less slaves needed, migration attraction goes up, and pop assimilation speed goes up, and I get claims on every territory in Paphagonia Superior. Very nice. Acquire Heracleoitis, I gain 15 political influence. Very nice. Annex Paphlagonia Superior, I gain 15 popularity. Very nice. Triumph in Bithynia. Um, I'm going to wait with this because Amastris is probably close to death. Um, so we're going to wait with this one until our ruler is dead and her son has taken over. By the way, you can have a holding. And so can your brother. Your brother can't actually have a holding. I lied. I hear rivals with a bunch of dudes. Um, what about my husband? You can have a holding. And your son from another mother. Sisagambus. Oh, it's Sisagambus. Hello there. Uh, you are blunt. You're also not even of age yet, so. Oh well. Right, how are we doing over here for the next person? You're a f ooh, you're, you're a scorned family. Uh, your power base is pretty high. You're a major power. I'm going to try and inspire disloyalty in you. But yeah, I need to not attack for a while. My aggressive expansion is very, very high. Um, we're help. We're very. We're close to all our friends. That's good. And Phrygia and Seleucids are currently beating the shit out of each other, which I love, which is fantastic for us. Um, Macedon's currently be being murdered, so is Thrace. Epirus actually did beat, and, uh, beat Boeotia pretty hard. Um, yeah, things are going really well. This is good, it's good, so everything is good. Um, let's have a look at Phrygia's map mode here. I mean, it's, it's really good for us. Oh, Battle full Harvest. We gain three stability, or we can gain a bunch of money. I'm actually going to gain the money. No, I'm going to gain stability. That's fucking awful. Yes, there we go. Uh, looking at my nation overview, there's three provinces, Bithynia, Paphagonia, Inferior, and Galatia Trochmi, which are losing loyalty, but they're losing it very, very slowly, and we are got, we've got high stability right now, or high uh, loyalty, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Galatia Trochmi, though, is probably going to lose food. But not for long, because my army is actually moving out of there. So that's fine as well. Things are looking really good. So I think at the moment... Oh, you want me to call to arms against Trapezus, Colchis, and Phasis. Colchis is my friend. <sighs> that sucks. I will accept, though. I'm not going to do anything, but I will accept the call to arms. You know what, I'm just going to lower my army maintenance, lower my fort maintenance, save money and build buildings that will help my nation grow strong. Let's have a look at the religion map mode. 
only one territory at the moment is majority Zoroastrian. Uh, most of it is still Hellenic. Getting over here is going to be really handy for us. Lots of uh, Zoroastrians. Uh, are there any Medians actually down here as well? Oh yeah, look at this. If we can take this, this would be beautiful. At the moment though, it's mostly owned by Seleucids and Atropaten. Atropaten is Median though, so that's good, I think. I would imagine you are Median. So that's good for me. It's very good for me. But yeah, at the moment I do want to just sit on my ass and do nothing for a while. You want grain from Bithynia Inferior. Bithynia Inferior can absolutely give you grain. You want grain from Bithynia Inferior as well. Fuck it, fine. You built a theatre, you've built a theatre, very nice. Bithynia, grain from Bithynia Superior, absolutely. Are there any territory buildings here? Oh yeah, some bar barracks in a farm. No. Barracks in a farm. No. I mean, that's just fucking stupid. Let's be perfectly frank about it. That's dumb as shit. How about over here? Any, any building? Training ground? Negative. Alright, I think I'm fairly happy with what I see now. We've got 115 ducats. Uh, let's build in Sinop. One of those and one of those. Got 44 ducats left. Um, capital here. There's no cities. Here there is one city. I need to be at peace, but until then. You can have a theatre. We're going to build you a temple as well, as soon as I can afford it. My ruler's finesse is really, really good. Yeah, let's give you some vegetables. That's probably fine as well. What do you want? Livestock? Sure. Lots and lots of income. I do like it. All right, let's build a temple as well. Uh, I'm going to lose that too. Legitimacy, I'm not too worried about two. Um... All of this territory is hilly or forested. There's no good places for a city. I mean, Tarsus will do, uh, although it's also grain. Maybe I'll just build it in uh, the forest here in Chile. Eventually, when we have the money for, you know, city projects. Uh, it seems like Thrace is actually going after you again. Thrace actually attacked the Tirigate. And, well, let's be honest, it, nothing really has gone to plan for Thrace. Including this most recent war. Who are you? 76. You... The guy that we were enticing disloyalty on has been moved. I, I can't even tell who it is. Oh, it's Sar Sarduri, friend of the general of the second. So if we look at show characters, it's Sar. Uh, let's actually sort by this. We'll look for the general. You're the general of the ninth. Primary heir, but not a general. Really, is the general of the ninth? Oh, sorry, general of the second, wasn't it? Seven is pretty good, actually. Oh, you've been imprisoned. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably why he's no longer the governor. Well, that's a bit rough, isn't it? And we can't really do anything about it. Yes, you can trade with me. I'm fine with that. Uh, legitimacy is going up still, it's good. You support the wrong fucker, that's probably okay. Uh, my heir, my primary heir at the moment is Oxytheres, which is exactly what I want. Uh, can I arrange marriage for you? Yes I can, oh very nice. Uh, I don't care who, just make babies. It really doesn't matter to me. You are 14 so we can't get you married. But what we can do is marry my daughter away to... 
member of the Meninimited family, member, minor character, the general of the first minor character as well. It would make you very loyal if I was to marry you to my daughter. Now you have, you should have something to do with uh, being married to the royal family. However, you do not. Well, oh well. We can take an invention. I don't think I want anything there. Cappadocia is allied with Phrygia. I would also like to be allied with Phrygia, but it's it's not it's not going to happen. They hate my Griff's expansion. And uh, we can now actually trade with Egypt. That is very interesting indeed. Phrygia still not going to get a civil war. Not going to get a rebellion for now. They did drop Byzantium, who will probably end up dying now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go to war with them right now. Or ever, perhaps. I think what my plan is going to be, or it was going to be, is to attack Phrygia with the aid of my allies. Uh, clearly, probably not a good idea anymore, due to Cappadocia joining Phrygia. Supposedly the people of Pompeiopolis, Paphagonia Superior, are struggling with their faith in the teachings of Zoroaster. Our databar Antipatris Asandrid suggests convincing the peasantry with purification ceremonies, once more turning them into the righteous path following Ahura Mazda. Hmm, yes. Surely it would be a popular move among our subjects to turn more people against false malevolent ideas of the polytheists. So I could hold these ceremonies uh, and gain three, four, sorry, four slaves become Zoroastrian. Why, do they, why are you only the slaves? Fine. Uh, we also have some money now again. We're making ten ducats a month. Fantastic. Uh, I want some city buildings. Wait. We we're going with you. You have what you need. Yep. You have it as well. You want to be this, but we can't do that yet because we're at war still. You're a city. You need a temple. You need a temple and a theater. And we've got 16 ducats left. Oh, the Seleucids declared on Armenia. Welp. It's time to go to war. Again, our maintenance goes up. Um, thinking maybe. I mean, we have the money. We should probably build a few more infantry, or we could not. Not is also an option. Right, Pontus, military access, if you please. Armenia, military access, if you please. And let's start marching because we are going to go to war. We're going to go, and hopefully, my ruler will die. And uh, her son will take over. Let's grant you a hold. Well. There you go. Son, do you want holding? Yeah, you do. Uh, I'll take. I'll take the last one. There we go. See, if I go to war, if I go and siege a bunch of the Seleucid territory, uh, for one, Armenia won't be completely ruined, as they may be if I did not go and help. Um, but also I can get a bunch of pops and money, and a lot of the pops I will steal will also be Zoroastrian, because there's a lot of Zoroastrians around. We, we've lost the initial engagement though. Let's just go for the cities for now. And like, this is why I want my ruler to die as well, because then I can put my ruler in charge of the army, and if that is the case, I can, you know, sack the shit out of it. Um, while the occasionally wreckish and lausch tendencies of Carneas Megid are well known throughout the upper circles of Heraclea Pontica, no one was quite prepared for the appalling slew's allegations leveled at him of late. The growing rumours of terrible indecencies perpetrated on slaves at debauched gatherings honouring the god of wine, where Carneades and his lewd entourage exhibit and debase their latest acquisitions from the Emporia of Bithynian. Carneades denies everything in the most stringent terms, claiming the tales to be lies engineered by his political opponents. The gossip is backed by several witnesses who claim to have been besmirched by Carneades personally. Slaves and virtuous citizens across Heracleotis are demanding government-sanctioned justice to deter these excesses, and we can no longer ignore the situation. 
So I'm just going to do a token inquiry. I feel like it's probably going to be the best idea. It does cost me some money, but it we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, trial developments. While the investigation into Carniades Magid was merely intended as a symbolic gesture to ease tensions, it's clear after some preliminary groundwork by jurists that the accused has been the victim of slander, which bears no resemblance to his relatively mundane lifestyle. We seem to have saved ourselves a lot of trouble and money by only half-heartedly investigating the innocent Carniades. All are agreed there is no risk of any sentence being passed unless some extremely damaging evidence comes to light. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm just going to say we'll have to see what happens. What happens is pretty much nothing. The investigation into the accusations against Carnier's Magid can finally be brought to a close, after well established his innocence in the matter. A public apology and repudiation of slander has been issued, though the identity of the Libel's originator remains unknown. While the citizens are pleased that their reputations are in safe hands with our justice system, the slaves found the seriousness with which the trial was approached somewhat lacking. Don't give a fuck. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There are a lot of Seleucid armies around. Uh, but I feel like we're going to be able to sack a few cities quite easily. It's just unfortunate that I'm not going to be able to get the main benefit of it. Uh, let's get some more public uh, conversion speed. We're up to 18% Zoroastria now. Did I even take anything there? I don't know. If, I don't even think I did. Apparently I burned it, but whether I took some pops, fuck only knows. Get some money there. Ooh, available decisions. Embrace the Hellenic Pantheon. How about fucking no? Absolutely not. Can I... T pops. There we go. Took some pops there. Go to Edessa Assyria. Yes, that's what I want. Pops. Can't be asked doing sieges, so we're just going to look for the cities and uh, siege them. Epidamnus Stratonid inspires the army. Inspirational. Naturally. And if you desiege it, fuck it, I don't care. It's not why I'm here. Kill another pop. We'll te steal this so that I have some food. Stability is increased, very nice. Let's go to Antiochia Migdinius. Yes, yeah, more pops. Let's get down here. The road helps. Atropa 10 wants an alliance. Um You're also at war with the Seleucids. Sure. We at war with you? No. Yeah, it's a shame I'm not getting the money for this. I would sack every single one of these cities if I could. But, you know, taking the pops is good as well. You want grain? Sure. Right, where is the next city? I mean, I don't see any reason not to go for it. Uh, lose 60 ducats, for, but gain 2 loyalty, or... Yeah, it's fine, fuck it. Uh, anything here I want? Not really. Let's go and spend some money up in our uh, area again. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm still at war. Well, what I'm going to do now is start building some libraries. And this is, this is what I love doing. Just like, oh, I'm just going to go around and raid the shit out of you. Like, Bagada. Actually, we'll, we'll check Opus. Opus has 26 pops. Oh, man, look at all those pops I just stolen. And yes, his uh, capital is going to de-siege it. Oh, I'm... The war is over. I mean, I took a few pops. I mean, I, I gotta be happy with, with taking that. You can also have a library. Gain 38 ducats, and apparently we're friends with the ruler of... Not, you're not the ruler, you're the tribal chief of Pontus. Sure. Thanks for the money. Can't really complain about money, can I? 
So uh, let's build another one here. And build one here. I don't have money, but now I do. There we go. Money done. So we took a few pops. Um, my religion is now 23%. I think a lot of the pops I stole actually were Zoroastrian and Persian. So that was really helpful. Uh, if we have a look at my political map, not political, uh, sorry, culture, it's still majority Bithynian everywhere. But, you know, it's it's okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be fine. We'll we'll convert it eventually. Who is this sieging you? Thrace. Thrace is finally going to own um, Byzantium. Macedon allied of the Seleucids still, mostly because they've still got Cassander in charge, and you still got Seleucus. It's fucking crazy. Miraculous recovery for my son. Very good. I, that was an accident. Don't know why I did that. Did uh, did Armenia even lose land? Did they lose this, perhaps? I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I think they did. Which sucks, but... Ah, well. So, uh, do I want some horse archer offense, national manpower, or light cav offense? I think I'm going to go with the manpower for now. The manpower is what is really hurting me right now. So, we, at the moment, we gain 88 a month. We take this. We might need to wait. Oh, no, we don't need to wait. It's now up to 94 a month, which is... You know, it's a solid increase. We could we could hope for some more of an increase, but it's solid for now. Uh, war warning from Cappadocia. They want to go to war with Pontus. I will accept that, because I also kind of want to go to war with Pontus. I do, I do want to go to war with Pontus. Uh, where's the provincial capital here? It's Amasia. So I would have to rush for Amasia. Anyway, the libraries have been built, so the research ratio should start going more in my favor. Oh god, I've just realized I've gone 27 minutes on this episode, so I'm going to put a small cut in here. Thank you all very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.